two, one. Hello there, and welcome to the sixth episode of Breaker. Or it might be the fifth, I've lost track. I should really check this up. But anyway, hello, welcome all to Breaker. I, I hope you like uh, my new setup for all the cameras. And today, on our token uh, uh, viewer, we have our lovely Goliath up there, just above me. So, a quick recap on what happened last week shall be given by one of the players, and I shall roll a d4 to see who it is. It is Gimbal! Gimbal, what happened last time? What exactly happened three weeks ago? Uh, go. <laughs> Give me a fucking second. I'm too sober for this shit, okay? Give me a I have no idea. I remember a fight. I like. I didn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. I have. I actually have a good memory. So, three weeks. I, I have a good memory, but I don't remember Gimbal's voice. Uh, I'll do it in my regular one. Three weeks ago, basically, what happened? We were we returned to the guild house. Became official members of the guild. So Gimbal was a little bit of a against that. Uh, and everybody went to sleep. After everyone woke up, the Goliath started checking the uh, boards for quests where he might see the, uh, uh, the board person, if he's Tiger. And when, he, when Fargo saw a gimbal near the tavern bar, uh, the gimbal created a four top of his spells. But, uh, they talked a little bit. Uh, about what quest to take, and they decided to go hunt down. Uh, ha go first of all, they thought of hunting down some uh, basilisk, which they thought were, were gorgons, or the other way around. I think I thought the quest said uh, gorgons, but it was actually basilisk. Yeah, that was my bad. Yeah, yeah it was. It's important for us, okay? <laughs> uh, but but uh, they went back and forth between what quest to take. Ignoring that quest for the dragon for some reason. Idiots, I know. Um, and after that, we decided to go to like the dwarven mountain city and fight some drow, drow elves for no reason apparently. And and hoping to hunt down some uh, basilisk in the process. At some point, we uh, wrote the uh, warforged cleric stepped into like a fighting pit. And initiated like a brawl in which uh, Farga, Victoria, and Gimbal also joined. Gimbal, Gimbal started out strong, blasting a fucking fireball at everyone. But due to some unlucky roll, he couldn't use his bling and got wrecked. But he was he was gangster shot. <laughs> it was a drive-by type of situation. Yes. Uh, after that, I, f I think Farga won the brawl against Victoria. <laughs> I don't need to find out. With two it HP. Was, it was bullshit. Yeah, it was not bullshit. It, 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 <laughs> was it, was it was unlucky rolls on both of your parts. It was. Victory is bullshit. Even if it's bullshit, even if it's shooting, a victory is still oh, yeah. a victory. No, 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 no. All that matters. It's fine. He won. That doesn't stop from being bullshit and making salt about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, after, after that, Gimbal and Fada went to, to like a special uh, magical shop to buy some things. Got uh, some information about uh, potential jobs. When the, uh, Gimbal, Gimbal made a deal with a shopkeeper so that if Gimbal helps. Uh, Clear out the source, you'll get some payment for helping the underground uh, smuggling route. But because we already cleared out the uh, the underground route, we, uh, what happened was Gimbal didn't need to do anything, any work. He still waited on that payment. Uh, he went down to talk with uh, Cerebro, gave a little bit of his memories to Cerebro, and in return, not only uh, Cerebro will not attack anyone in the stores, but it will, but it also gave a part of itself to Gimbal as a communication scout, basically as a companion. Gimbal being a smart person hit the thing, 
But unfortunately, when uh, when they returned to the gift house, uh, the, the gnome uh, collapsed. I don't remember why. I think it was he was very tired. And uh, the little companion slime did not listen to its instructions and went out on its own, which resulted in him getting shot. Yep. After then, the, uh, after. Shh 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 shh. Shh <laughs> shh. Sh after that, uh, Victoria went down to a source to get another one. The same uh, for she didn't have to pay her memories because it was a replacement for Gimbal's company. It's Gimbal's, it belongs to him. Uh, after that, uh, she hit him in uh, like a pouch. Everybody slept. Gimbal got uh, his uh, thing from back from Victoria. And they decided to head out from the city to the Dwarven Mountain. Which is where we currently are. Well, I sh 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 it's not taller. We went through the, <laughs> through the gate. We <laughs> went through the, through the gate. He ignored the gatekeeper who apparently had something to say. We <laughs> just. <laughs> Continue. I did cut out where it's at what point did it cut out? Yeah, Just went. after the gate. Yeah, they went up a mountain, they got ambushed by a stupid Gorgon who our cleric just held on. He just stopped it in his tracks. You uh, as well as, as, well as a magic hand from you. Yeah, basically we, if, we shot this poor beast and just wailed on it. It, wa yeah. it wasn't even a fight, it was a slaughter. It was a lucky roll of managing to hold it down. Yeah, and terrible I mean, rolls on my half. Yeah. Yeah, it's still, we just slaughtered the poor thing. It's fine, we will gather its metallic hide and smelt it down. Yeah. Efficiency. Efficiency? Right. Yes. So, we need to go to the drow, to the uh, dwarf capital, get, uh, kill some drows, find some basilisks, can need to collect the payment from the underground uh, organization for clearing out uh, the trading good in the source. Also, we learned that one guy stabbed another guy in that source from Cerebro. And currently, sorry, uh, uh, the slime companion is being grabbed by my owl and not letting him go anywhere. Okay. What do you think is staying with me? I will fucking eat it in order to, to keep it with me, if I have to. I mean, you did forget one one little important fact. What? Uh, you almost fireballed Cerebra. It wasn't my fault, I didn't know he was there with you. Well, Gimbal didn't know it. he was there with you. That's our whole point. Uh, it was fine. It was like in a leather pocket inside a jar, and it and it managed to. No, no, no. As long as it isn't with my character, it's already in danger. It's basically the passive state of anything can kill it. It's fine. We'll just place it on any captives we have and let it assimilate them. What well, what's happened to my dark vision? Yeah, I went over this earlier. I updated it. Basically, without a torch, it won't it won't uh, show you all the things. Sure. Because you have thirty feet of I, light. I have I have the goggles of night vision. Yeah, you have thirty feet dim light, and then after yeah. that, it's, it's, it becomes dark. It becomes uh, very grayish, yeah. so you have to have a torch to you know, illuminate. Yeah, I have sixty feet. But half. surely, like surely, I can still see within thirty feet. You can. Yes, you are. But I can't see anything on the map. <laughs> that yep. Just move a little bit to the side, you're in the middle. I literally can't see anything. Right. I'll take uh, I, I can't see the other players or anything. You should be able to see me, the tiger, the gorgon. You should be able to see that. I'll check his token. Yeah, I like. I can see you. So, so. anybody knows uh, what's happening to pineapple? Just. Okay. But it was yeah. not creepy at all. And then 
definitely answered every my every possible question. Continue. Mom came in asking me to try some icing, it was terrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> uh, yes, that is where we left off. With you guys taking down a Gorgon. What are you doing? Come. Well... That's not the point. Well, hey. So, what are you guys doing? Oh. What? No. Technical difficulties, time to pause. Refresh. And we are back from technical issues. They are the worst. <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah. You guys have now defeated a mighty Gorgon. You are tired. This was in your sleep. This is terrible for you. What are you doing? Is, is anyone. <laughs> is Andrew cutting for anyone as well? Yeah, he's cutting. I think it is like. Yay, for two weeks of not game, everything gets fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why you don't have breaks in <laughs> the, the campaigns. <laughs> well, anyway, we, you guys have just uh, uh, battled the Gorgon. You are you are tired, what are you doing? We all come back. Go we, back to sleep. It was my watch anyway. <laughs> we all come... It was in the last watch as well, hmm. if I remember right, so... I believe so. And we spent like what a minute in combat. Mm -hmm. It was less than ten rounds, so yeah. And your uh, rest has been reset. Seriously? Yeah, that's how it works. So basically, if you wake in your real life, if you wake up for less than a minute and go back to sleep, you. S yes. Yeah. Which I do all the time. <laughs> yes, that happened to me last night. I was up and out of awake. Oh no, I was Wait. awake and asleep. Awake and asleep. Wait. Awake and asleep. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Seriously. What's wrong with you people? I mean, I have no issue with waking up, doing heavy work, and then falling back into sleep. I have insomnia. <laughs> I have insomnia, but anyway, let's stop. We're talking about this later, <laughs> like we always do. <laughs> VR returns if like a slime and I just put it into my uh, into my pouch and I and I fucking shut the pouch shut so only the court is remaining so it doesn't escape. <laughs> I say you say that okay? Say that you are an asshole. I'm not an asshole. I saved your life. I, need, I, I really need to remember Gimbo's voice, it's been two weeks and I have no idea what he sounds So, like. uh, Victoria falls fall back to sleep because fuck this shit. Yeah, I'm sleeping too. Al is keeping watch for me, because he doesn't need sleep. Yep. Yep. I would take a watch in like six hours. <laughs> oh, cheers. <laughs> remember, you have a robot. But I don't have a robot. No, I mean you have a you have a wall thought. Yeah. Oh, who's controlling him? Who's controlling him? Please me. be me, and I can. Shit. It's by the way, that's your out. Oh uh, yeah, better. So you know, we resume our long rest and our guarding, I guess, posts. Uh, let's see. Next watch is Fangaf, so make a perception check, please. With disadvantage I mean, because I you have no light. I mean the. What's it called? The Gorgon did turn up on my perception check. Mm. He's... yeah. So, uh... We're, we're going into the... back at the top, which was... who was it again? I don't know, I'm pretty sure I was the last one. Well, anyway, we're gonna yes. skip because you... Daybreak is coming. I mean, we still need to sleep to not get exhausted. Mm-hmm. So... To be fair, I only think it recess the war forges, uh, long rest. <laughs> because he has to have uh, eight hours of continuous, or uh, six hours of continuous uh, rest. 
I thought it was four. Uh, no, it hits a six. Elves is four. Yeah, elves are four. Elves are the bullshit ones. Yeah. But it also means if anything, if they wake up, they have to have continuous rest. So that means they would also be reset. Yep. So, so there's some good, some downside. You guys are fine. It's just our healer is down spells. Yeah. No, he'd already had his because I woke up and he was. Yeah. But now he's used spells again and he can't get him back to his next long rest. Which oh, all right. Which yeah. you can only have he one today. <laughs> he had it and then used them again. Then he needs another lo long rest too. You know. But he have them. Which you can only have he one a day. I mean. That is official rules. You can only have one long rest a day. You cannot slip your exhaustion off, bitch! Yep. Deal with it. That's okay. You have to wait the entire day. That, that is such a bullshit rule. But such anyway, such you guys are sleeping. You get to do your rest, and you all wake up the next day. Yay! I am no longer half dead. Well, now we'll continue up the mountain. Well, we're not even close to the mountain yet. We'll continue no. going towards the top of the mountain. We were scaling up. Yeah, we were. We'd already started. You guys have only done a day. Remember, it takes yeah. multiple to even get to the base of the mountain. <laughs> we you took two we, day. We we we, we traveled for two three days before. Yeah, because we, we were yeah. already up it because we saw a mountain. Uh, yeah, a giant no, no, you saw. You, know, you saw. Some of you saw that in a far far distance. Bullets. Okay. But yes. I like people. Uh, uh, who is looking out? I am. Yep. Anyone who is looking, make a perception check. Yeah, I will too. That was okay. I'll also do as we all as well. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. I rolled a 2 and I got a 13. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fuck that me. tiger! Christ. I, I <laughs> got a natural 20 as well. That's 3 not 20. Yeah, you guys are just, yeah, just keep on burning them people. Keep on burning them. <laughs> Don't worry, I can't hit anything when something turns up anyway, so... <laughs> Listen, we use them up on spotting them and we fail when we actually fight them. <laughs> <laughs> it's Very great. Much. It's great. Uh, this is a travesty. Oh, somebody is about to get fucked up. <laughs> I mean, we, we created like thrice. This continuing cool. continuing on to, uh, inwards to the day, you guys are venturing closer and closer to the mountain. Going around, you, you come across a few things. You, you see a few things in the far distance, uh, mainly shadows, outlines. You can't really tell what they are. We do know they're there. <coughs> Looking, going onwards towards the mountain, you once again spot that f uh, everyone, everyone who got a natural twenty, uh, you all spot what seems to be the large giant wandering around with. What you guys see several, uh, uh, several things flying above him. Yeah, you can't read really several things. Several, several large bird-like creatures flying above him. Abbeys, abbeys, abbeys. You can't really tell what they are, but you know they're bird-like. Uh, just, it's not close enough, or we no, need a... No, they're up the mountain. Okay. You're, you're not even on a base yet. Oh, gotcha, okay. I mean, so we, we have a flyer. We do have a flyer. Well, uh, how far? I mean, is it enough where, like, I can... No, hang on, he's more than his hunter during the day as well. Are we ever going to get to the top of this mountain any time soon? <laughs> no, we will fight our way through and use all our ammunition. Deal with it. Going through, you're getting closer to Duskwoods. Uh, it's coming tonight, you're getting closer to the, uh, to, to the base of the mountain, maybe half a day more journey. I mean, then we cannot rest anymore, we will fucking proceed. 
it's dusk. You guys want to continue for the night? Uh, no. So we can get attacked again, sure. I mean, ideally, I would want to have a rest because the, the yeah, cleric needs spells back. Yeah. yeah, he would. That means he has to rest and not be on watch. What? Remember, he he usually goes around actually not taking a rest. Oh, no, he doesn't. He can sit there and do it stationary. Yes, but yeah. that means he's also closed off. He, he is stationary, which means he's in one direction. But he can still hear everything? Yes, he can yeah. hear things. Yeah. He goes into sentinel mode, which is sleep mode. Basically, he's like a camera, but it's only uh, looking yeah. in one specific direction. Mm. And and how is it? He he looks at that direction, and the companion looks at the other that direction. What companion? <laughs> the other one who is guarding. We have an owl, and we have like a, a tiger. We have an owl, we have a tiger, and we have our shifts. So... We basically look wherever he isn't looking. Yeah, which is a, another... Which is another... It's, he doesn't see... He hears... In like 90 degrees. I mean, he... Yeah. You don't hear in 90 degrees! Yeah, in 90 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> GM, how what? much... How much gin did you have today? Jesus. None. He has been drinking vodka this entire time, guys. He has like a, he has like a, the hospital thing when you put in your Joe. vein and you just pumping vodka. Joe, he is not a Slav. They don't do that in the UK. Boss, 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 boss. <laughs> anyway, basically, he just sees him here in just one direction. Yeah. Here in one direction. You don't hear it in one direction. <laughs> My <laughs> God. He's listening to music. He's listening to terrible bands. No, you cannot hear no. in one direction. You hear from no. every direction. No. That's how hearing works. No, Drew. I was making as a terrible joke. No. I should as hope so, or I'm gonna be sick. As a fan of rock music, and fuck yourself. Kind. <laughs> Same thing, I hate One Direction too. So do I. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad, the old ones. No, but anyway... Bad. Look at this, look at the uh, link already, I just sent in this I'm already one. staring at it. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead, roll your perception <laughs> checks. So, who's taking Who's the going first watch? I'll, 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 I'll do it. Yeah. Okay, I'll do my first, and my owl is staying with me as well, so both of us. I mean, yeah. And one of you have a sad advantage, I believe, due to the center. Uh, so basically, I use that for my uh, role, and the owl gets advantage on itself. Uh, it would it would have advantage, but remember, you're in dusk, so you have disadvantage, so just cancel out. It's an owl. Yes. Yeah, it's an owl. You have right, disadvantage on perception checks. Which means it would just go to a normal one when it's dark. Because you had guys that if you guys are having a light source, that's fine. Remember, there's there are things when it comes to light source in the night. Yeah, we are not using a light source. So that means like you guys have disadvantage. Yeah. So so we've had both adva both advantages for me and uh, how are you uh, gaining advantage? Sentinel, but someone is. I, I don't know, someone said that I have advantage, I don't ask. Yeah. And I'll, I'll just say the so, wall for just as aiding you somehow. So it just so it basically yeah, just meets you, it goes to a straight roll for both. Because you have disadvantage. So 12 and 5. Yes, 12 and 5. I mean, he does have dark vision. Yes, which you guys have no light source, which means you're seeing in black and white. Right, so you can still see stuff. Yes, you can see it's you in the see world. When you're looking in dim light, which dark vision is, you have disadvantage on perception checks. Yeah, that's an actual role, I won't argue, right? Because the barbarians have a thing which lets them see uh, see without disadvantage in dim light. No, so that it's is an actual a role. feat, it's not a barbarian thing. No, 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 no. no. It's uh, a feat, it's a skulker feat. It is it's a skulker. A skulker and a barbarian uh, totem warriors at 6 hour gets oh, that one. Oh, that one. Yeah. Eagle eyes. Basically, we have a vision up to a mile and without any disadvantage. Yes. Yeah. Which is really... 
It doesn't say anything about having disadvantage. It does. When seen in dim light, you have yeah. disadvantage. Yep. And when making I a perception check that. in dim light, you have disadvantage, which dark vision counts as. Yeah. Okay. Perception checks only, not yes. investigation. Inves no, I think it's investigation too. No. Uh, no, it says perception checks. Yeah. Anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll look at about the investigation there. But so, so you have 12 different. and 5. Yeah, 12 and 5. Looking through the night, you don't really spot much. I'm just looking around. The war forge is sleeping, well, powered down silently. He's standing in. You probably put him towards the mountain himself. But you, time passes on through the night. And uh, you do get a modicum. Ah, uh, wait. Shit. Is it too late for me to use my yes. portal and give my... S yeah, fuck it. The decision has already been decided. You, you you do that before I before I start yeah, talking. Yeah. Okay, so... Well, basically, I'll... Uh, if you want, I can wait for the other guy to take the shift and just give him port. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Actually, no, you, have, you have to be conscious when, to, when yeah. you're doing that. Yeah, but here's the thing. Once he starts looking, I can just give him port and go back to sleep. Uh, because he started his action. Hmm. I don't know. Who is uh, who is next? Uh, it will probably be me. Okay. So you roll a natural fourteen before <laughs> you move. Um, a natural fourteen. So that is a twenty-five. <laughs> Wait, if your perception bonus is eleven, it's eleven. 11. Then how do you? All oh, right, fucking up, seven. But. No, 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 uh, no. I'm oh, talking about you your were, passive. You, I mean, yes. Obs observe one. Yeah. That is nice so being restrained. I mean... Yes, you're not you arguing aren't... me on this. No, no, You aren't even using it that actively. I Jimmy. actually am. Um, you don't know why I'm being rolling. Okay. Again, it's... If I remember right, passive is for sneaking up on someone instead of anything. It's things like that, and also it's just things that you naturally will spot. Oh, I heard it was a sneaky thing. Yeah, it's also for, it's also seen for sneaky things, but it's also for things that you naturally spot. Ah, I see. Okay. Your passive perception is that you're what you passively see. Yeah, if you're walking through a room and not decided not to search it, he could say, "Oh, you saw, you know, a glint over there in the corner." Yeah. Oh, well, it's like when you first enter a room, ah. you see this, you see that, you would notice things. Or it's like with okay. someone trying to hide something on them, you might notice them hiding it. Yeah, you walk into a bar ah. and you see someone put their hand in their pocket, you know, right away. Things like that. Oh, Question. okay, I see now. Question, how long does a torch last for? Eh, about an hour. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yep. That's pretty work. Not really. I mean... It's like you can start no. a campfire, that would go all night. Yes, but... I assume we already have one. No, because if no, you have a campfire, that would be a beacon of light. Yes, it's, it's up to the party we, if you make something like that. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. Okay. Which is why we're not having a campfire. I mean, I assume we have one to cook food on and that. I mean, we have rations. We don't cook food. <laughs> okay. Like... <laughs> Gimbal, you come out and... Uh, Victoria, you come, you come too. Uh, I would like you to roll a d10. D10. Yes. For that shower, one d10. Oof. Okay. Uh, you hear. Uh, yeah, you hear what my... seems to be a scampering of hooves. From where? Uh, it's coming into a direction towards the mountain, but you, it's not within your sight of vision. That's what you hear. Hmm. So, yeah. I can hear it, and this is due to my 25 roll due to, to the portent. Yes, and it's also due to your bloody 27 passive perception, which, by the way, you need to... I think that's 26. Wait, it's 26. Yeah, by the way, you need to update that on the thing, on your nameplate. Uh, I did, didn't I? No, you, you, forgot to press, press, you forgot to press save changes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I forgot about that. There we go. But anyway, you hear these scamperings of hooves, but uh, you want to do anything in response? Uh, uh, from from what side are they coming? Uh, it seems to be coming from the side towards the cities, not towards the mountain. 
Um, I'm just going to do to try and see if there is anything mixed as noisy with with the hooves. Make an additional perception check. No, normal. Uh, I'm gonna call this disadvantage mainly because of the long range and you're trying to hear. Okay. Oof. Remember, you can only hear in one direction. This is gonna become a running joke, isn't it? Yes. yes. <laughs> I will never forget this. <laughs> GM is fine, I'm just going to take like an ASI at next level. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, no, you do not. You hear horses. You also hear what seems to be uh, the clanging of armor. Okay, so it is an armored horseman. Possibly. I mean, this is what I would identify. Yeah, this is what, this is what you are identifying as someone in armor yep. riding off. Towards the city. Towards the mountain. Towards the mountain. Yes. Coming from the city. Yes, coming f uh, coming from the city is not the city, not from mine, Evan. Like the towns around here. Oh, so it's coming from from a local yeah, area. Yes, coming from up. like this direction. Okay, so it is armored on a horse and it's climbing up the mountain. Yes. Oh no, it's going towards the mountain. You hear? Yeah. So. Uh, okay. Interesting. Um. I will keep an ear out and an eye out. Yep. But I won't do. Yeah. <laughs> In that one direction. <laughs> <laughs> I shall start performing perception of one direction. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you got. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, coming towards your your night comes to an end. And did, did the hooves s slowly came closer and closer? No, they're going farther and further away. They're going towards the mountain. It by it passed you uh, via a uh, via a large uh, via a large curve around you. Oh, so we're like three days. You're you're past you're partly towards the mountain. you it's like half a day more together. Anyway, who is the next watch? Uh, that would be uh the cat, the cat. Nara. Yep. Okay, how does the cat right want to perceive things? Because uh, she has a, she has certain advantages and disadvantages with her certain perceptions. Um, just the standard what she can see, but she's got the advantage on smell. So if she smells anything, uh, okay, you want to start like smelling things. Okay, make a make a regular perception check, please. Smell isn't affected by the dark. You know, it is. Yes. Oh yeah, no. So this is an advantage. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Tigers. Wait. Tigers have keen smell. Can they have keen hearing keen and smell? Oh. I was gonna say, don't tell me hearing. My my, my my question is, can she like look and smell at the same time, or does she need to specifically rely on one? It, it's uh, depending sense. on what you do. You can do both of them, which means you would have it would just be a straight roll, or she can do, or she can focus on one, which means she would only be relying on one set. Or you can go smell and hear. Yes. You know, the ones that have advantage on. Yeah, she's gonna do what she thinks best. Is like she's just gonna keep hearing and smelling. Okay. I guess. Going out towards, I want you to roll me a deep ten. Who me? Yes, you. A dragon comes. Okay. Great. <laughs> right. okay. uh, she, um, let me see. The cat will wake you up. What is it, girl? And she is uh, giving you a a, a a a a motion of I smell something. Okay. Um. Well, first I want to go ahead and take a perception check. Then. Then go ahead. At disadvantage. And going out and listening, you also you hear the very clear sound of armor, moving armor. Uh, you hear what seems to be maybe 
four, uh, five to four people in armor moving. What direction? Toward us or away toward the you. mountain? Okay. Toward the mountain, but away from you. I feel like the reinforcements for the dwarves or careers. Where are they? Um, like, so if they're not coming toward us, uh, where are we in our rest? Is it like, is, am I the last shift anyways? Uh, this is the third shift, this is on two hour intervals, so you're on second to, this is the second to last shift. Okay, so, it's, since they're not coming toward us, I'm just gonna go ahead and ignore it as long as they aren't coming toward us. Okay, you get back to your rest, and uh, uh, who is the last watch? Actually no, this one is just purely Actually, the that, robot. That, that, that's me. oh okay, I was gonna say, technically I think I was the last watch. Yeah, yeah you are the last watch, so you stay up. And now the robot can also purely help you. Yeah. He has had his he has had his six hours rest. They're talking to me. No, Raw Forge, <laughs> Rodimus. <laughs> I'm talking about Rodimus here. Your your robot is dead. You have to rebuild that thing. <laughs> no, no. You were saying your help you with your. Yeah, as in thing. Rodimus is going to aid the next person in in their perception check. Yeah, now next. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So you wake up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you you wake up. Yeah. And uh, he, Rodimus is like uh, helping you. Like he will. Actually, no. He's not going to do that. He's just going to say, "Listen carefully," and basically give you, uh, basically just pr just uh, just give you a a, a a boost to your a, a conscious boost. So go ahead and roll a standard perception check. You shall turn every three seconds at 90 degrees for optimum <laughs> perception. For optimal hearing. <laughs> uh, you have advantage, by the way. No, no, he is regular. He had disadvantage but with the aid it gives it to regular. Well, can I pull out a torch then? You may. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I, I genuinely. I'm gonna pull out a torch. Yeah. Okay, put out a torch, you light it. May I make another perception check just for your next roll? Oh my god, really? <laughs> Two tools! <laughs> at, Two least it wasn't, at least it wasn't snake eyes. Okay. I'm gonna roll d10 this time. I am completely fucking useless this campaign. Yeah. I know, right? Bl blame the torch. I blame the torch! <laughs> you were when, when I do damage, I can't actually hit anything. No, no, no. You forgot to remove the goggles before you light it up and you got blinded. Ah. <laughs> uh, actually, no. What you do perceive something. Something. You perceive a boar. A wild. It looks what seems to be a boar, just walking towards you. Aggressively what? or not? Just seems to be a. You can't really tell. Just like. <laughs> a pick with tusks, right? Yeah, pick with tusks. But, yeah, yeah. I'll just let it do its thing. It seems to be sniffing on. all of you. Wait, is it coming <laughs> in the count? Yeah, like it's coming to, towards the count. Do you wish to stop the boar before it comes and sniff on our conscious bodies? It's not going to eat live people. <laughs> That's not Please. how animals work. <laughs> See, what happened was I put truffles in Victoria's pocket and it's not coming for her. <laughs> there is... If, it's, it, if it goes to try and eat someone, I'll shoot it, but until then, it can do its own thing. <laughs> so, you have the thunderbuss out and ready yeah. <laughs> to hunt it, but... You're not I'm just going to let it do its own thing. <laughs> it seems to walk around us, sniffing you all, then it comes over to you. It sits I'll down. Pet it. It, you pet it. And yeah. it turns into a humanoid. I figured it would, yeah. I was honestly expecting some sort of ghoul that explodes, but okay. Uh, no, what you see in front of you is a it's a a a a, 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 a large boarish man. Uh, boarish in the sense of the word that he looks like a boar. He is half a boar, one could say. Oh, it's a red boar. <gasps> oh fuck! He looks to you and says, "Thank you. You did not shoot me." You are a kind man. You're welcome. May the blessings of Zia be upon you. And you. And you have advantage on perception checks for the next two days. 
Uh, as he just turns actually, back into a ball and walks away. You might actually see shit now. I doubt it. I'll still roll two natural one ones, don't worry about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> just when it, I'm using her to like, sniff sniff, comes up, turns into like this monstrosity of, uh, of the death machine. Look, look into Discord chat for a second. Yeah. And you'll understand. I'll show you what it yeah. actually looks That's a little bit much. I was gonna say, I'm, I was aware, Raven, I'm one of my old campaigns. That, that, that is a wear bar when it goes into, I want to kill you for. <laughs> yeah, that's an anti uh, wear bar. Uh, yeah. We know it fits the thematic of the wear bar, but. Yeah. That's Chad wear boy, bar, sorry. He's gonna stay in your messes and you gonna do shit about it. <laughs> Chad, Chad, Chad wear bar yeah. grabs your. Grand anyway, grand 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 grand. <laughs> uh, morning comes, and uh, morning comes, and you are all looking yeah, up. By the way, do remember to note down your expenditure of either rations or our yes, friend. Yes, right, uh, Oh, should we have taken a survival check? I mean, you we basically just note down a ration. The, the day has already passed. Yeah. Yeah. So. uh... You will do the survival check next day. <laughs> oh, so, damn! Did you just type "where bore" into Google and pick the first picture which came yes, up? Yes, because because, I did because that's the because that's the actual official image from D and D. Mine is better. <laughs> I mean, he's no, not wrong. <laughs> no, really. okay. So I let everyone know that there is a group of at least five armored people. That headed up the mountain last night. I'm going to assume they are reinforcements for the dwarves, or maybe couriers. And I have an intelligence of 16, so I can assume that. Yes, you can. <laughs> I've got an intelligence of 20. But you I didn't know. Assume that. <laughs> that would be my guess, also. Do we know exactly where the entrance to Dora uh, you know there's a Do you know there's a path on the mountain that will lead up to it? Oh, okay. Is there a marker <laughs> for this? Um, it's, uh, it's very obvious. In the in the path uh, of... Uh, there's, there's the stairs. It's practically stairs. Right, okay. We'll make it there by midday today. Yes. Most likely. Okay, so... <laughs> Like me when I get out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so you guys are carrying on. I would like two of you to make a perception check. I uh, kindly I take that. Yeah. Just because I've got advantage to say all useless, I'll be. Do I do I take that with advantage? It's not. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Wow. Eleven. Yes. I mean, it's better than last time. I don't know, like. Uh, no, last time I got a 13. I think the scout should have did this, but okay. <laughs> I got a 3. <laughs> <laughs> and I turned it into a 14. But yeah, I'm good. Original 3. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love expertise, man. I love expertise. They, they are fun. Can I get experti expertise? <laughs> I mean, that is a UA feat that allows you to do that for, uh, for perception. I, I have fucking 12 and plus 12 to investigation. <laughs> what are you finding everything? <laughs> well, What's anyway, you guys feel a rumble in the ground. Is the rumble of an earthquake? No, this is the very centered earthquake and we call it you are starting here like almost like a very large mole like creature I... is coming towards you I warn them stop and... moving wait just I... stop moving wait I have is... fly about five feet off the air okay off. Uh... Mm. quickly what are you guys doing I'm gonna stop moving and tell everyone oh, to do the same. I am going to actually 
pull my pistols out and go on my warforge. You need a platform I can. <laughs> You're going you're climbing on top of the warforge. Yeah, with my pistols out. I'm going full out post mode. Yeah. I go invisible. If you cast invisibility? <laughs> okay, <laughs> stop everyone stop right here. I want you to all to roll initiative. Uh, you can't stealth, you don't have to uh, there's literally nothing to hide behind in the air. I don't know, question. Uh, yeah. Aunt Mole. Yeah. Aunt Mole's blind. You will notice? Anyway, everyone will initiative. You're going to see, as you see this large, <laughs> silver-like creature burst out the ground. It uh, is, what? it is silvery. It is, it has these large claws and a curved head that leans over this large, meaty jaw. I am the only one who actually did. Uh, oh. I haven't. Yeah, pull my token. Yeah, apparently my token is not tied to my character. Hmm. Great. Hmm. There you go. I, thought it was a well, I got. Bit. I got seven. I got seven. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, your right. things changed. Yeah. Every. Thing is breaking. Roll ro ro twenty is doomed. Back into fantasy ground. And it is actually going to Again, come up know. between Rodimus's feet. By the way, I posted what it looks uh, like in uh, chat. I mean, <laughs> wait. It's going to come out through Rodimus. No, it's going. It's coming out underneath him. Yeah, and I am on road. Yes, you are. I Make a deck save. <laughs> Acrobatics. Uh, uh, we're going to take a quick break here, just for a few technical things. And we're back to recording. So, can you just get, move yourself on top of him? Well, so there, so I don't get mixed up. Vic, the hook here is on top. The road, yay! And Rod of us is initiative. Let's get uh, this thing started. Uh, with it. GM, yep. For God, to what? Two point eight. That I roll. What? How the fuck do I turn the button? You right-click on him. Yeah. Oh. oh. What me? I guess I can add myself. Anyway, back into the back into the video. You guys are now recording. It's Rod's turn. He is going to take a swing at the at the creature that he sees in front of him as it just burst up. As you know, I think I need to roll an attack first. Yeah, because like, bullet did. Is get. he not going to shoot off? He has an action and a bonus action. Give me a sec. And hey, misses Rod anyway. <laughs> Coming out of the ground. Did he get surprised? No, he just gets an attack because there was no way you guys could actually get to him. When he comes yeah. up, he attacks. Oh, okay. Uh, so we're at the top of the round with Rod. For some reason, his yeah. HP is not the full. <laughs> yeah. Again, some of the. Correct set. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, the uh, uh, rod shall attack, and he shall bring down his mace. He slams the creature, slams into the hide. You see it. You see it. You see cracks form in it as it as it creates this dent indentation in it, and then he casts Shield of Faith on himself. As he, as he does, it's Vicky's turn. So, oh, am I far enough off the ground to not be in like... You're on Rod's shoulders, which means you're... Actually, this is a large creature, you're still within five feet of him. Fuck. Oh well. So you have disadvantage on your attack rolls. Yeah, I guess. 
Oh, As you do it, it pings off his hide. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely. That is right. And, uh. You know what? I'm going to shield of fate myself. Up <laughs> oh, and that's my turn. Okay. Luna, you shield of fate yourself. And it's now Zed's turn. It's currently half hour in the air. Alright, um. Is. Cast Hunter's Mark on it as a bonus action. How far up are you? Five foot. Five foot off the ground, okay. Uh, okay. And then I take first. Yeah. yeah. Take your first shot. Uh, yep. Firing your pistol. <laughs> It fires and creates a dent into it. Roll damage. Uh, roll Hunter's Mark damage. Okay. Nice 12 points of damage. You see the blood coursing through it. Second shot. Firing this time, the bullet pings off as you did as you tried to fire where your first one hit. Uh, you, that's actually that bonus action. You want to move? Um, let me see. How far away am I? No, I actually. You're staying there? Yeah, I'm gonna stay there. I'm 10 foot away for a moment. I think that's a good position. Okay. And it's Gimbal's turn. Hey, look. I'm going to cast uh, my Orvan Grass. Hey, look. It rolled a natural 5. Because I'm buddy. <laughs> yeah, did you roll for today? Look at me. I okay. am the captain now. Yeah, you did. Uh, he did? He rolled a 5 and a 14? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you can look in. F5? Uh, okay, yeah, no. I see it. Yeah, 5 yeah. and a 13. Get. And it rolled an actual 5 on its saving throw against my rest. Get your DC off. Also, I'm no longer invisible. You only have your knowledge little? 16. Yep. Coming in, it grabs it's him. There. Yep. The orbs, we... Uh, the orb flies yep. amongst, goes into the ground, and this earthy hand grabs onto the leg of it. Great. It's restrained. It, uh, it takes 6 points of bludgeoning damage, and Gimbal is going to... Yep. Uh, give me a sec. That was my action and my moment. I don't have a bonus action. Gimbal. Yep, that's your turn. So it cannot it cannot move it, it has disadvantage on its attacks and attacks against it has disadvantage. Also it has disadvantage on dexterity. Mm -hmm. Fangarf, it's your turn. Uh, well, since it has advantage. And that was it ten feet. Let's see if it no, oh, fire. Yeah. Yep. As that. you fire forth your fingers, the many yeah, bullets right. fire into the creature's mouth. You just as all these gashes of blood just kind of stream out of it. Uh, that's the end of my. Yep. Owl, what's the owl doing? Yo. Yo, what's the owl doing? Oh. He's moving his ruler around. Which... Joe, you might be me. You that Shh. push the talk. I've been talking for a while. But yeah. basically, the owl, the gimbal picks up this slime from his back and flies away. Okay. No, it, I, it's going to it's going to sail a bit, about ten feet away from Justin. Okay. Uh, it's now it's turn. by something else. Uh. She is going to move by 20. Remember, you had to use one of your attacks to get her to attack. Yeah, she is prepping for a pounce. Uh, she was standing next to it, it's going to take an attack of opportunity. She 
she can take the dodge. She yeah, but that means she can't hold her attack action. She does have a an action. She's got a move action. Yeah. Yeah, she has a move. She can oh, move yeah. normally. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take. She'll get. She knew if you need to make an attack of opportunity, that's fine. Moving. Back. Oh wait, it, it's restrained. Yeah, disadvantage. That, and it's got disadvantage anyway. Uh, that is a 13 to hit. Which uh, misses the tiger. Wait, why does the tiger have an AC of 15? Well. Tiger should not have an AC of 15. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. You're just very quiet. This mm. is literally dying. Yeah. For me. No, that was my whole computer though. Yeah, so why is your tiger 15 AC? Um, I think the tiger gets a force. Well, th this is what you gave me, DM, and it says this armor class 15 on my top. You're the one. Hey, it should be armor class 12. I don't know why that book out. Give me a second. Yeah. Maybe I, f I, I feel buffed it. Yeah. You buffed it because it's, he's a yeah, beast master, a master, and you incorporated some of the beast conclet instead of giving oh, it full. It, I know why he's got, he, he's got 15 because skill from the beast master. There it's you. Awesome. Hold on. Remember, you're not using. You remember, you're using normal beast master, not conclet. Yes. You're using but, normal but, ranger. But you gave. But you also gave him a couple of the f features from the. If I remember right. Mm. Yeah. Because regular beast van on the weak, weak side. Yeah. Yep. Well, it misses. Yep. But, uh, t uh, yep. Is that her turn? As she preps herself for an attack? <coughs> no, it's a. I'm gonna take it by sound, so that's a yes. Bullet's turn. I'll try and roll to escape. Okay. Is Drew breaking for anyone else except me? Yeah, yeah no, for, for me as well. For me. Like, but. Okay, it, it, I think we just might have to scrap today's it's session until. Because this guy is shitting too much. Yeah, like, I think it's just your computer not being able to handle the recording, at least. Yeah, but the thing is, it usually is. Yeah. So, uh, the bullet is going to try and attack. As you know, it's not going to try and break out. Oh, it's not going to break out? No, it is going to break out. Ah. And it succeeds. What did it roll? I'm not telling you. <laughs> I don't have to tell you. I just know, I just had to tell you that I get oh, rolled above 16. I proof. Oh. I want proof. I'm DM, I can, I can roll things secretly. God damn it. You can, you can yep. say if you want to use your pot or not. Yeah, I guess this clearly strong creature. Yep, yeah, I am not using a, four, a 13 portent against this creature. So, as this thing does, it breaks out of the thing and says, fuck this, and goes underneath the ground. Uh, Rod can get an attack opportunity. You can't. You're not in range. You're not within five feet of him. I know you were within five feet, but you can make a range attack with disadvantage. Yep. All of the disadvantages. All oh, disadvantage. <laughs> Bounce off his head oh. again. Hmm. Rod is going to bring down Wait. his mace. And doesn't and doesn't hit. Oh, uh, I believe Rod, right? You believe Rod what? Da, and that Rod, what am I remembering? I don't know. Anyway, it goes oh. underneath the ground, and you are cutting out as hell. 
As it does, do you feel rumblings, but you can't really know what it's doing. It's Rod's turn. He's going. Uh, he's going to look around. He doesn't mean anything. He's going to hold his action. Vicky, what are you doing? Um. I put my left pistol away and I push my my hand up and look at the fl flying door Pull. and I hold my action to fire once with my right pistol okay Zed, you feel it underneath the ground as with your hunter smack you know where it is you feel it currently moving and you know that it's underneath Rod Ferengarth and Fog Vernaz and Vic Ooh, uh, um, yeah, uh, I holler out that it's under you guys. Watch out. Can I... Are you girls? Go ahead. Well, I... How far away am I from you guys? I mean, I... I I'm also hovering. I'm hovering like 10 feet of the girls. So. Uh, how are you ho hovering? Or are you... It's not near hovering. I She's climbing on top, top of the You're not hovering. So, what do you want me to do? Pick you up and float? Yeah, pick me up and float me away from the ground. So I can shoot at you. <laughs> yeah, but then I'm not going <laughs> to... Of course you will. You don't need a hand to, to, to hold me. Yeah, but it takes an action to grab someone. Oh, I, okay. It takes an action to grab someone. Yeah. Yeah, like, we have one handed you know, handguns. You can just shoot. Yeah, but if he uses action to pick you up, he won't be able to shoot. Yeah. He won't be able to. But that? He, but I'm prepared to shoot too, and I have Hunter's Mark. Now, I'm going to prep my action to... I'm going to hold my action to attack when he yep. comes. Let me kiss that. Gimbal, what are you doing? I'm going to... Now you got to blink. Okay. Roll a d roll a d roll your d twenty unless you want to do a bonus action. Before that, I still have more movement, so yeah. let's just say I'm going to move on. Okay. Move over there. Roll your d twenty. Still there. Nope. Yes, uh, yeah, I'm far enough. Yeah. Are we gonna go to that zoom? And he's still there. Gimbal is still there, people. I know. <laughs> Get my turn is ended. Get his fire gaff soon. What are you doing? Are we gonna go on that zoom call or not? Uh. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> finally got the same question, by the way. Fire gaff, what are you doing? I don't know. I can't see the bullet. <laughs> yeah, because it's not up in the, that's it's not on the yeah, ground. It went underground. Oh, I went to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I posted in chat, I really need to go to the toilet. Uh, and I'm just gonna ready my shop for when it comes out. Okay. Do you wish to break... Uh, no, 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 uh, Jim. He was informed by our bird friend that this thing is directly underneath us. So you might yeah. want to fuck off from the vicinity. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah prepare You an may want to move. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so... I'll move over here. Okay. Yeah. And the bird did not pick me up. I'm sad. <laughs> well, it's the owl's turn now. Uh, I was just going to fly 10 feet above me, but near me. Okay. Uh, let's say here, here. Good enough. Uh, the cat, yeah, I'm guessing it's holding its action to see if it can holding attack it. Action also, yes. Uh, Bird, you notice that it's not actually going up towards Rod, nor Vicky, but you feel it moving towards Gimbal. Changing course, Gimbal, watch out. Oh yes, enough movement. <laughs> As it comes up underneath Gimbal, it's going to make an attack roll. Wait, enough movement? Yeah. Borrowing. Oh, yeah. that's bullshit. <laughs> Coming up. That is a set that is a seventeen to attack. Hits. Hits. You're not wait, you, you don't have shield? 
Nope. Even with, sh even with a sh wait, shield gives like five plus five to armor. No, plus yeah. ten. No, because it gives plus five. I said plus five. Is, is it it's plus, plus five? Plus ten will be super broken. <laughs> <laughs> yep, even with my shield, it would have still hit me. Wait, only plus five? Yes. <clears throat> I. Then I remember wrong. Give me a moment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, plus five to AC. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Still, yeah, it still hits me. Yeah, that's it. Fourteen, twenty-five, twenty, uh, thirty-two points of damage. How much? 32. What? This thing hits with 4d... Sorry, not 32. 29. This thing hits with 4d12. 29. balanced for a level 5 party. I mean... Yeah, but it only gets one attack, and it's done. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it gets power, so it's in... Um... Yeah, GM, it's still broken. Fuck it. Do our reactions coming? Uh, yes. You, all your reactions coming. What's the range? I still can't hey. even see the bullet. <laughs> oh, sorry. I should... <laughs> Um, I should probably turn off global. I should probably turn on global immunity before I yes. did that. Yes. I thought yeah, I turned on global immunity late, uh, earlier. No, you didn't. There we go. Oh, now I can see stuff. Okay, so it is daytime enough. Yes, it is daytime. Oh okay. no, it is well within my reach. Don't yep. worry about it. Yep. Everyone, you can guess to shoot. Now it gets oh. to charge. I'm not. Go I'm not going to shoot because it's out of my range. <laughs> All right. Um. Do you want to go first, Victoria, or me? It don't matter. Me and You go okay. simultaneously. Okay. <laughs> Miss. Man. Man, this is some bullshit. No, it's balanced because of your massive perception. <laughs> mm. Perception doesn't mean shit to you. You guys, you guys wasted good. all your good rolls early on those perception checks. You only okay. get one attack. When you hold your action, you only get one rolls. attack. Oh, so yeah. I don't get both my even a, no, no. holding you cost in action? You yeah. hold an attack action. You cannot hold an action. Yeah. You only get to hold. Uh, you only get to one attack when yeah. you uh, attack. Yeah. When you hold the an action. The extra attack is part of your class, which comes by using your action to attack. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> so you so you can so hold. Seventeen hit. And seventeen does indeed hit. Roll damage. And then give me a second. Hunter's mark on top of that. Yep. So, 11 damage. Yep, finally, we 11 damage. It seems to be bloody as you see it streaming out. And that's his turn. Now, because I don't have that second attack, then I can't use the cat to attack either. Uh, she held her. Uh, yeah, actually, no, I'll let her attack. Alright. She is within her movement. She is going to pounce. Yep. And let me roll that. And if I make the attack, he's got to do a strength 13 or go prone. <coughs> I take it it broke out with the earth and grasp. Yeah, we I mean, have it, 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 it broke. It broke like. Why does oh, he have advantage? Way, uh, and that would be advantage because he's engaging Gimbal, right? Yeah, but Gimbal is not engaging him. But, uh, what do you mean I'm not engaging him? Basically, you haven't attacked him nor have you done anything to engage with him. It should just come out of the ground and hit you. I'd say that was a good. Yeah. We go over this every week. This is how I do this. Oh, so even though Gimbal has used a spell on it beforehand. Yes, but he went underground. He's not currently in Gatorade as in. He's not attacked it. But it's ah. engaging Gimbal, correct? I mean, oh, he attacked Gimbal. Oh, yeah, this no, is just uh, how I do flanking. Yeah. You uh, need to have attacked it to be engaged. Okay. That's a nine, which misses. See, I, I didn't know the house rules, so yeah. that's why I was. You know. And Rod is carrying me, so he's at half speed. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. So you guys get there. <laughs> <laughs> on him. Yep, on his yep. turn. Your turn. Uh, oh, Shut it! Shut it! Since I can see now, uh, I pull my other pistol out as well. <laughs> bam bam. An advantage because Nora has engaged it. And no, no, that's, all, that's, that's only flanking, so we're both within five feet. Yep. And oh, okay. Range attacks don't get flanking. Uh, oh. okay. Pff, hit! There you go. 
this. Offhand. Offhand. Hit. How in the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> really now? Let's see, that's uh, the, 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 the it's fairly now. Yep, yeah, you see the blood as you both bullets pierce into it. Can someone stop drawing that line? It's getting annoying. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to figure out not, how not to die, okay? <laughs> yeah, we don't need to keep on <laughs> circling. I need to figure out where he is, okay? <laughs> is that your turn, Vic? Uh, I step... Uh, I... F I step down from road, I assume I can just ja ja jump down. Yeah, I would say it's like 10 feet of movement. So, 10, uh... 15, 20, 25, 30. Kay. And ice, yeah. And uh, that is all. Z. I, I used it. Um, is it a action or bonus action to reload? Is it an action to reload? Left. Okay. Um, I am actually going to take my last shot then. This should be my. <laughs> also, that means you get. You also use your. Remember, you give up one of your attacks to let a narrow attack. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually attack and then you, you use her. Yeah. So I got one more shot there. Misses. As you fire your pistol, it shoots off and strikes into the hide, but you hit one of the other bullets, forcing it to deflect off. And then I'll hold my other action for Nara. Well, yeah, then, no, Nara now attacks. She's in range. Oh, okay. So. Even though her, t I can use her to attack now. Yes, that's how it works. Her initiative is just for the movement. Yeah, her initiative is just for her movement. Perfect. Okay, that's fine then. Um, you can order her to do a thing. If she's not close enough, she will do it on her turn. Yes. All right. And this time she is going to actually try to bite. Biting into it, she pierces into the hide. Biting is tearing out some of the chunks of it. It does not look happy. Take care of the hide, please. <laughs> Gimbal. Yeah, I'm firebolting this bitch. I'm sorry. Uh, I can. I. I have to firebolt uh, the tiger as well. Otherwise, I. Otherwise, I have. To, I'll kill any one of us as well. I mean, you can center it around. Can you just magic it, missile? Kill my owl, and my owl is far more precious when <laughs> all of you combined. Is the fireball the only spell you got to attack? <laughs> I want to fireball this. Yeah, there's literally fireball. no way that he can do this no, without no, no. getting someone else. If he, I mean, it's fine if you take me and Rod. But now the tigers still be in there. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. Yeah. She's a feet. Twenty feet. I'm already. I have a tool which allows me to do this. Yeah. So how would the tiger be? It's five feet away. Basically, I'll hit Rod. You. And and Zed as well. Anyway. What? But oh shit. So yeah. basically, I'll hit the entire party in order to save a tiger. Uh, a tiger in an hour. <laughs> no, we yeah. we all will stay alive no matter what. Because the I owl have... has your ooze in it. Yeah, that's a point. But we don't really care about the ooze, do we? No, I no, care no. about views. I care about the owl. <laughs> the only way it's dying if I say so myself. So, uh, listen, what you can do... Well, what is it? A deck saving throw for yes. a fireball? Have damage I mean, on I, I'm willing to go. Yeah, I mean, if that's what I you gotta do, do it, man. Take that. I am willing to take that. I am a dex character. I'm glad I had no idea what was going on, so I don't have to make the dex save. <laughs> no, you, you do not. You are too far away. And <laughs> oh, what? shit! The only way for me to actually hit this is either the tiger or Zit or the entire party. Yeah, uh, 20 foot radius. <laughs> go, do what you gotta do. We're making saving throws. Okay, <laughs> we're, okay, we're having a uh, fried, ch fried bird and uh, boiled. How far yeah. up is the bird? I just, I, I'm only it's about, about five, five I would feet. say at this point it's about 15 feet uh, up. Okay. Feet because it moved uh, forward when a little bit out. I'm trying to keep it away from the reach of this thing. So, um, roll, roll a deck save. Which one, me? Yeah, the you tiger? and the tiger. Alright, so, me. Uh, are you going to use your port? Uh, 
Uh, no, I'm saying my port to get out of his. Uh, okay, it fails. Well, it still fails, right? Yeah, it fails. 26 points of damage. Uh, roll for the tiger. Fails, <laughs> takes 26 <laughs> points of fire damage. Do you wish to use your portion on the tiger? <laughs> no, I need my portion for another so, thing right now. This will be the only thing to do. As the fire I mean, no. goes out, it explodes in the radius. You hear a... <laughs> as, you, as the fireball dissipates, you just see a, a charred corpse of a bullet. Oh, we killed it? Oh, oh, yeah, I I did not think this through, okay. Also, Zid, you took uh, f uh, half, uh, half of 26. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I, I, basically, my plan was I'm going to fireball these things and use my portion for my blink to get out of its face. <laughs> so it doesn't, like, kill me on my t uh, after my turn is over. Uh, GM. You. Hi. Vicky would like to use her expertise with leatherwork to see if this hide is so charred that it is unworkable. It looks to be. You don't even have to make a check for that. <laughs> you monster! Did all of the meat get burned? Oh no, well? just a hide. Just the hide. It's only the important yeah. part. Well, I'm I'm gonna go to its stomach and rip out meat. <laughs> or oh, and... yeah, I keep blinking in and out for a while now. I mean, you, you, you can stop it at any point in time. No, I can't. No. Like, it's not concentration. No, it's not concentration. It's anything. Once I no, press no, no. it, I can control it. You can use an action to drop it. It's in the spell itself. Read it. It's not concentration. Ah, it's you can dismiss this spell as... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I don't blink out for existence. The use goes back to me <laughs> in my pouch. It's, it's safe. Yeah. It's okay. So, uh, and no, you can't use portent on blink. You can use it on attack roll, saving throws, or ability checks. Oh, it uh, is not on any. Nope. There's attack roll, saving throws, or ability checks. You can't use it on blink. Uh, when you finish roll to. And yes. Yeah, you can. Yep. No, you cannot use it on blink. So. Yeah. Okay, I did not know. It was <laughs> a mis uh, misjudgment in my part. Uh, but yeah. Well, anyway, you guys are now out of battle. You are now out of initiative. Okay, can I, we let the scout Let the scout do what? You know, gather all of the shit we can make for food without eating our rations away. I, okay. sh I should be able to do something like that too, because I have survival. Yeah, you the scout! <laughs> you are the scout! Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Can I, can I get some killing from our robot? He will, robot. He will come uh, over to you. I was gonna heal you as well. Yeah. He will cast yeah. a first level cube wounds. You flesh bags and your need for healing. I <laughs> oh, oh shit, you should have told me I would have used my port I mean, oh. you can yeah. do it regardless. He is within range, so... Well, I mean, I would use my port if he... I was gonna say, one. Zaid, I would have given you some uh, advantage. Yeah. Because I was gonna help. Okay. Yeah. Well, again. Roll one more. Yeah, I grandly wait for my portent, okay? Okay, you, are you using your portent or not? Yes. Okay, so that's a 19. Person. Yeah. Good. Thanks for Going waiting. through, you managed to peel off of the charred hide. It's pre-cooked. I mean... No, it's just no, a hide it's... that's cooked, but then you get into this meaty, bleeding, oh, okay. filled with bullets... <laughs> Meat. So you gotta so, so in all of this thing usable, you gotta have to spend some time, maybe during a rest, just pulling all these Me, bullets out. We're going to take a short why did you use a healing? We're going to take a short rest. No we're not, we can keep walking. Yeah. Sh sure. So how much meat do we recover? Uh yeah, there is in total about uh, tw uh, hundred and twenty pounds of meat there. Well okay. I can carry all of that. Yeah, so <laughs> How long will this last us? As far yeah, as I was say, there's maybe forty-five minutes. So we need to like pre-cook or preserve it. I'm sorry, no, the meat itself. I thought you meant how long is it going to take to get all this stuff? Oh, no, no, no. I, how, I'm. How, how long will the meat last? Yeah, how long will uh, the meat we're last? preserving, salting, and all that. Possibly a good month. Yeah. If if you if we have some water, I can freeze it. I mean. You freeze the water. I mean, we, we 
do. But no, my thing is, how long will this amount of meat last us? I just told you a month. Oh no, for f I think he meant for food. For like, yes. Oh, feeding. Yeah. Yes. Maybe about yum, yum. Yum. about a week worth of food. That's not bad. Yeah. Not yeah. so we can. I'll, well, I'll carry it round. <laughs> Boo that meat. We should try cannibalism at some point in this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Me, so... Nara's got her us? eye on the owl. So, <laughs> you want us to eat a satire, you mean? Yeah, I mean, we can... I mean, after we kill a few uh, drows, if we are hungry, I mean... <laughs> If, if we, we're not going to sort her food in a cave and uh, Russians are, uh, you know. Can I, can I just assume Gimbal's like lawful evil or something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, if that's how you want to perceive him, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I actually didn't give him an alignment because I'm very bad with those things. I, just <laughs> <laughs> I, would see him, I see him as chaotic neutral, personally. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do, I'm not saying we should actually calm down people and eat well. I'm saying if when we kill people, which we are going to do. Anyway, we don't we're going to take our actual break here so everyone can get food and all that stuff. And I'm yeah, going to yeah, try yeah. and set up some uh, mod stuff on my thing. Continuing back, you guys have just finished harvesting about a week worth of food from a, from a corpse of a dead bullet. So we will need either need to cook it now, or preserve it. Hmm. I mean, I can get the cook. Well, <laughs> I mean, it can it can uh, hold without any preservation for a month, right? No, no, that's with preservation. Yeah, but I mean, if, if we take it with us till we get to like sleep for the night, and I'll do the first watch while cooking all of the meat. No, no, no. Oh, oh, we have a really easy way. Uh, we have a we have someone with. We have at least two people with high survival, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait! Don't I have prestidigation? What if I just every hour or so I just use prestidigation to clear uh, my meat out of anything? It's still rot as good. You as. can't, you can't get rid of any disease or mold out of it. Can't get yeah. bacteria out. Uh, now, what wh what we can actually do is we have at least two individuals with trained survival and at least f five or more as a modifier on it. So, they would know that we can actually, like, smoke the meat. That's not true. Or I can just, uh, chill. Well, I think the whole thing was, though, is will it last till we make <coughs> camp again, because otherwise we're going to be in the same spot for almost two days in a row. Yeah. Who, yeah. I mean... I like the part about you chill warm or flavor up to one cubic foot of non-living material for one hour. So I can just chill the meat for now, keep it in like a freezer type of situation. Mm. Or if we have like water, I can just freeze the water with my shape water. Yeah. Oh, yeah, All we, like need, we just need to make it last till we make camp again. And then we can cook it, smoke it, whatever. Yeah. I mean, we can take a few hours to cook it, then continue on. Uh, do you want to do that? I have no issue. It's free meat. I don't need to buy a ration that are expensive as shit. I do have a water skin. Question, if we cook the meat, will it still... Uh, it will hold, but it will still uh, become rotten at some point. Once it's cooked, it'll last for a month. Yeah. Will it? Yeah. Yeah, like... With proper, cooked, pres with proper preservatives, like, uh, like you salt it, you preserve it. Yeah, you can keep it good for at least a month. Yeah. And, and this is before you do any of the hard, you know, jerking of it. Right. So, I, I, I mean, uh, I guess, again, I have a water skin. We, we each have a few water skins. I can just yeah. freeze the water and keep, and we just keep the meat in a freezer type of situation. For, or we can t waste a few hours and cook it here, take a short yeah. rest. But at this point... I mean, I have no issue with, you know, having a couple of hours, having people keep a lookout while people cook and whatever. Uh, here's a question. How far is it to the city to get, get with the meat with the doors? 
You have been jump. No, that's that's going to take another week to go up there. No. Oh, right. then, yeah. Then we want to do this. Let's go ahead and. But, but again, that's the thing. We've been attacked here once before. We've been attacked here. Where is no proof that there aren't, there aren't more of those creatures? Well, now. we can get attacked at the next spot too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but at, but at least we made some progress at that point. Mm, that's that's not the point. Yeah, we 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 are going to have to hunt if this meat goes bad. And yeah. it's going to help us if we go ahead and take care of it now. If we're going to fight, we're going to fight regardless if it be now, now or like half a day later. Yeah, yeah. A few hours to smoke and prepare the meat should I mean, be too in bad. All, in all fairness, I'm the one who's going to be cooking it. So I suggest we just... Well, I have it. survival too, yeah. Yeah, but he has, well, he has I'm, cooking I'm cook, utensils. I've got cook utensils. Yeah. They, again, they overlap, by the way. Just so you're, you're aware. No, uh, cooking utensils, while survival is basic cooking, but c actually being trained in cook cooking utensils means that you can make fully fledged meals. Mm -hmm. But, but to, to preserve it or smoke preserve it. Preserve it would be in terms of survival, but you can also use cooking utensils for yeah. it. Yeah. We're just trying to cook it enough to preserve it. Well, that's, that's up to you if you guys want to do it now or later. Hello? Okay, so what do you guys want to do? Uh, how about we wait for the other people to join us? No, but... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. Uh, one is missing? One is missing. No, that's everyone. Uh, all five of yeah. us. We're missing one person. Okay. Alright, yeah, we were DM. It's I'm right here. Two. Yeah, but we were the... Wait, no, 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 I think not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. That's oh. everyone. Yeah. I only see no, four there should be what? there should be five. There should be five players. There's five of us. There should be six of us total. Yeah. yeah oh, no, no, there's just four of you. No, never mind. No, I'm not thinking of a regular plan. Yeah. Don't forget, one, we are missing a person. Today. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, who has the better modifier between you you two and one will get the fucking advantage in role? Well, I've got plus seven with the cock shoot at uh, then he's one better. I only have I have six to survive. Oh, he can give me advantage. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I like to start the fire and whatever. Yeah. Give advantage. You are assisting because you are trained to me. I will assist you. Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> this it's it's only doing the stupid things. You guys get good rolls. Yep. <laughs> yep. This is not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only time I get good rolls, because I can't hit any other time. I mean, this is a week's worth of food. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, going mm -hmm. over, you guys are taking a... Are you doing it now or later, by the way? Now. Um, okay. You decide to do no. it now. So, yeah, taking a few hours, you decide to steadily smoke and preserve the meat. Yep. I'm taking a short rest while we're doing that. It, it, this I, is going to be a process of two hours. Yeah, I am keeping watch. Since I'm keeping watch and reloading. Now, would smoking and assisting be considered strenuous, or can we technically be... No, you more? are. You have to focus on this. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you are fine. I mean, you didn't get hit, so what are you worried about? You two didn't get hit, what are you worried well, about? <laughs> I, I use spells and... Yeah, but that doesn't come back on the short rest, that comes back on the long rest. Oh, yeah. yeah. I okay. still yeah. took my short rest because I've got my RTN recovery and because I've got... Yeah. ...wrecked by that thing. Like, the only attack. classes that gain actual benefits are monks? And sorcerer? No. Uh, monks... Uh, monks, paladins, uh, warlocks... No. Not paladins. No paladins. Paladins get their divine. Uh, uh, yeah, no, no, no. No, no. no uh, we get their uh, channel divinity on a short. Well, yes. Clerics and uh, 
Paladin's get the uh, channel divinity. Channel divinity yeah. com for cleric comes back on long rest. No, yeah. for short rest as well. I believe it's a paladin. Thing. No, no, both clerics and paladins. Ah. Read the class, trust me. I, I was shocked to learn that as well. Yeah, but anyone who can actually get used of just a part of it is. Uh, Monk. Victoria, are you going to make a perception check? Uh, yes, this regular. is bro broad daylight, right? Yeah, regular. Is someone assisting me? Is the owl assisting me, Jimbo? <laughs> uh, if I'm resting and I assist you, my rest is gone, right? Uh, no, you, you this can't is during the hour. rest. Short, I mean, short, well, I'm taking a short rest. Yeah, so you, you can say to the owl, hey, help here. Yeah, I'll I'll just help me here. I mean, it's not strenuous to look around. No, no, no. <laughs> Remember, we're here only in one direction in this room. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting. I need the owl to remind me to turn my head. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just help me here. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. I am rolling shit on my perception. Mm. I am rolling shit. This is bullshit. No, no, I think it's a universal balancing. <laughs> See? And you were bitching about having extra stuff on that. It never works out, you know? Anyway, uh, with your passive perception, mm -hmm. uh, you... Why is there a tiger and a thing on the map? <laughs> Get off here. <laughs> uh, you manage to notice that there is, in fact, a few goblins around. They seem to be riding wolves. They look malnourished. They look incredibly beaten, a few bloodies, one looks to have a, a, a makeshift sling on. Wait, who is bloodied? The wolf or the goblin? Goblin. And is it a wolf or a warg? Wolf. Huh. Uh, I see no... I mean, I will keep an near so as I out if they're coming towards us, or else I will just you know, continue my, my watch. I'm not taking any aggressive actions. Uh, one of them will come up to you, and uh, speaking broken, coming. Can we get some food? You are on wolves, hunt. He just gestures to the bloody mess that he is. And by the way, I should actually mention that I've got to mention this. Those old, those wolves are old. Wait, what? <laughs> they are old wolves. Uh, GM. Hi. Uh, I'm just gonna cook. I'm just gonna throw some of the already cooked food at them. How much? Or the roll? Enough for a meal. It's. He will uh, grab it graciously, take it, and just hobble back. Wait, what language do I speak? No, I'm Yeah, right. I'm going to ask him. Do you work for food? We can't really work. You come with us, you fight for us, you, we heal you, we give you food. We have families to take care of. They are sick. Wait, yeah. wait, they are sick? Where? In a cave. How did they get sick? With disease. disease. Uh, it's can I make, can, uh, is healing touch? It sounds like a trap to me. You can make an inside check if you want. I'm gonna do one as well. Yeah, I'm gonna do one as well. Yeah. Oh my god, I haven't rolled above a 13. <laughs> hey, that 10 is the average. Yeah. Uh, I know, but still. Looking at him, he seems earnest. Okay. Yeah, He's disheveled, you look at him, his arm is truly broken. Oh. Um. Uh, all, I am, all I am is just opening by my job. If I don't want it, it's a problem. I'll, I'll tell them to come here. Um, the the rest of them come over. Yes. And I'll reach up and cure wounds them. Cause I'm good Goliath. Um, boy. would our cleric use mass mass heal? No, mass. He doesn't have mass heal. heal. No, not <laughs> mass healing ward or something. He didn't have a threat today. Wait, he didn't? Nope. That is. Not as far as I'm aware. That is interesting. Um, 
not as far as you are over it. You're one controlling him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no, he has massing the words. Yes, it does. Yeah, so he, he can just do that instead of our Goliath just using every single spell. I've got one left. And I literally only use them for cure wounds. <laughs> <laughs> He's clicked the button. <laughs> Uh, going over to him, his his you hear the the bone snapping back in the face. <laughs> and you just go, yeah, yeah, so uh, does our cleric do a must one? Uh, he will call over to the other smaller meat bags. Come over here. Uh, wait, how many creature ca can he affect? Uh, six. So Three. how many goblins? How many wolves are there? Uh, three of each. So, yeah, no. He can just do all six of them. He shall cast a mass healing word. Yep. <laughs> For six. I mean, six each. Yeah, six each. So. You you see some of these scarvings and some of the tissue on their face, but they still look disheveled and, well, malnourished. I mean, yeah, but, but they are not broken bones anymore. Well, they look, well, they're, they're set now. Well, yeah. so they, they might be able to hunt now. They, uh, thank you. And they just shove off. So, how much like, days worth, worth of food did we shut? I don't, you get, there's enough meat. To, to be fair, that's, to be fair, you can't really carry things because you may have the capacity for it, but what are you carrying it in? Uh, I am. I'm a Goliath. Okay. <laughs> Why just can I point? It just in your hand. I mean, yeah. in GM, <laughs> you know how an absurd oh. amount of preparer I am, right? You have a bag. We can also use the skin have and make total, a bag. I have a total of ten sacks. Mm -hmm. Can uh, we I'm, use the skin I'm, off it, uh, off of it, and just make a makeshift? Sling to hold the meat in if we had to. Yes, I believe I can actually do that. Do you know how many slings I've currently got over myself? <laughs> I've got one for me blunderbuss. I've got one for me light crossbow. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> we are loading our Goliath. <laughs> no, don't we have? We we have a machine to carry it. Yeah. Like, and then I've also got a strength of 16, and I also ca I also count as large for carrying capacity. Wait, 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 are you carrying, are you carrying uh, parts of your robot? No. no. I'm still back at the, what's it called? Guild. Uh, guild. Uh, do you have mechanical parts in your body? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, can chest. I look at them? Can Gimbal experiment on that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just a warning, at some point you're going to get really drunk when wake up to 24 hours later strapped to a table with him all over you. I just got to point out, I don't really drink a lot. Neither does Fargo. Yeah. So. He drinks some liquid at some point. Okay. Doesn't mean he gets People. drunk after one pint. People. <laughs> Please. Wait, this was role play. <laughs> this is role play. This is out of character shit. No, it isn't. <laughs> Because, was because, <laughs> because I don't remember Gimbal's voice, it's really hard for me to use to talk in RT today, so I'm talking like this. I try to talk like Gimbal next time, but it'll take me some time. Just look up the just look on a video. I yeah. despise hearing my voice. Same. <laughs> Same. Yeah. It's physically painful to, uh, to hear me talk. I know, right? Yeah. I yeah. Know. But yeah, so um also, we do have a tiger, which counts as lar as medium, large, 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 large. which oh. I have enough sacks to. I am fine with that, and so is she. Yeah, she will, she will haul meat if needed. I yes. can I can use a tiger as a mount. She may also take some. <laughs> oh, that is completely <laughs> fine. This food is for everyone. So, we split the food between my ten sacks, potato sacks. Which I think I only need to like. One I think if we ice. if we can fill two sacks, tie a rope between them, and basically make a saddlebag over yeah. Nara, she'll carry. Uh, I can. I am a leather worker. I can actually do oh, that. Oh sweet! Yeah. So in G GM, I would like to make a makeshift saddlebag. Okay, that's gonna Perfect. take uh, some time. Would you like some help? 
Yes, please. Do you have proficiency in level working tools? No, but... He, he has I mean, survival. I'm, I'm not making a good thing, I'm making a makeshift thing. Was, I've also got smith's tools, I don't know if they will help. No. There's no metal parts in here. <coughs> but surely I'd still be able to help him stroll. Would it be factory. intelligent base for level works? Do you have proficiency for... in survival? Me? Yeah. Yep. No. I, I did. never said I did. So, the bird can help. I will assist. So, essentially, this is a makeshift thing. Is it my intelligence to see if I can apply my craft into this shit? Yes. Man, advantage. How many sacks do I need to use? Well, to be fair, what was it? 102 pounds or something. Yeah. I mean, each sack, each sack can carry 25. No. If if it is a potato sack, it can carry a lot. So oh, sack of potatoes, but um, forty, fifty pounds. Yep. I mean, even twenty-five. That's only four sacks. Yeah. So uh, I will use up to four sacks to make it comfortable for the beast of burden of burden as well. Not a beast of burden. It's a tiger. <laughs> it's still a, a beast, beast of burden. Is it a beast? <laughs> is he carrying our yeah. burden? <laughs> yep. I mean, I said I'd do it, so does that make me one? Yeah, are yeah, you a beast? You are. <laughs> <laughs> are you a beast? No. You are a servant of burden. I, I'm a goliath of burden. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay, yeah. You're a humanoid of burden. Yeah. Uh, we need to get a dragon of burden. I mean... I'd love to see that. I mean... We, we, we actually... Just like a, a giant tote of burden. Wait, I told. I think we need to get to this mountain first. <laughs> Before we do anything. Listen, we all spent we the last need two to and do. a half hours walking up a cliff. Yes, all we need to do is a slave a male drow. That is all oh, we need. We're bringing slavery into this campaign. I'm going to get my uh, slaver's plan. I have one ready for every campaign. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, as a player, a, a few days. Uh, Find you, you random encounter table. Okay, young red dragon. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, after we prepare a way of doing that, we start going up. I'm not even kidding. I, I'm making my own random encounter table here. And I just, so I'm just making, so I'm just pinching stuff off from the, uh, I'm just rolling off of things. And number 99 on the, on the, on the 5 to 10 mountain encounters is young red dragon. Again. Yeah, if but this it's... was a thing, this close to this city would have been shut down. You know. Why do you think we don't know? Where does it even exist? It's Where common it... logic, you have a dragon near the city, you fucking kill it. Yeah, no, if I'm sorry. If they know about, about it. it. How can you miss a dragon? It is a also, highly... dragons are not naturally evil creatures. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, you're uh, just hearing red dragon just see, and just hearing monster, monster, red cage. Oh no, I have, I have no issue oh, with that. I thought the My... chromatic ones were evil. No, that's in regular D&D. Right, I'm just okay. gonna point out. I'm looking at the statistics for a yeah. young red dragon, and its fire breath alone would one shot the entire party. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just want to. That's why you don't out. piss it off. No, it's because it's a child taking off. No, I think it's twelve, people, maybe nine. People, please. You're also I'm smart good. enough try to not fight, to not to aggravate the red dragon. Yeah, but if it's an encounter that we can't do anything about it. Can, can we please speak? Can we please continue? We are continuing. Walking on this we're dragon. talking while we're walking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just talking about the hypothetical situation if you if you encounter a red dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If there is a red dragon up there, blah, blah, blah. Well, yes, man. voice from the sky and in our minds. You are correct. <laughs> it would be a suicide to not talk with a dragon and aggravate it. Whoa, I've, been whoa, talking to Cere I've been talking to Cerebro and not with you. Yeah, no, it's just Cerebro. It's like, I've heard there's a young red dragon up there. <laughs> oh, actually, but actually, Cerebro is, is very important for our future adventure. I'll tell you why when it begins. Hmm. Uh, so, we proceed and we've I assume find the knight at this point. Going forth, I'm just gonna roll the 100 here. 
Do I need to roll again? Is a one, a red dragon, I want to be so fucking pissed. Do I need oh, to no, roll no, no. again? I'm ready to see if an encounter happens. Oh. Yeah. But don't forget, it's an encounter from 5 to 10, we're only at 5. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. So, uh... Do I roll my perception again? You may. Oh, you can just go over your off your passive if you want. Um. I mean, I'll make one just roll one. I mean, yeah, you I'm really going... Yeah, you have advantage, naturally. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Uh, hey above seven. 15. Yeah, above I will, 15! <laughs> I will go out of my passive... Oh, wait. Yeah, but... Will, but if I actively search, I will get more you information. Will, you, If you actively search, you'll you will disengage your passive perception, because you're actively looking. Okay. Uh, Sure, I will use my passive, and if it pings, I will. Uh, no, you have to. You don't. You only use your passive. Okay, I only use my passive then. That is fine. Yeah, but it's still twenty-six. Okay, uh, actually, I'm gonna have one of you roll d100. Eh, uh, Victoria, roll d100. What? What? What was? What happens if? What's the number for a red dragon? Uh, for, well, first off, you have to. First off, you have to roll or to see if anything kind of happens. Then you roll off my personal table. Which is a free. Mm -hmm. oh. You continue on and make your way to the base of the mountain. Uh, oh. Victoria, with your passive possession, you notice that you are being watched by, by several giant eagles. Several giant eagles? Mm hmm. Whilst looking up, you spot several shadows in the sky. Whilst they first look to be no eagle, you realize, yeah, that's not that. That they should be a lot smaller, even at this distance. Yeah, those are giant eagles. Those are giant eagles. Yes. I confirm it as giant eagles. Yes. Okay. Why do I have to uh, roll a hundred? Seriously, seriously, guys, come on. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, hundred? Uh, it's it's a D four. It's a D four of giants. Yep. So, uh, Can I just give up with this combat? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I I look at this and I, is there like an eagle that is actively keeping a tab on picking? It like looks to be looking at all of you. I turn to the eagle and give a wave. <coughs> I, I, I do not speak eagle, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you you know you just hear this like this this very faint echo because it's very high above you. Yeah, um, uh, someone who has survival and shit might be able to interpret it. I don't know. I do not have animal animal handling or survival, so I just pointed out that we have a couple of giant eagles following us, and I pulled my gun out and not ready. Flies off. I mean, go on. I was gonna say. I mean, is that? Would I be able to tell if they're like trying to alert somebody? I'm guessing that's what's happening. Well, make an insight check. Oh, insight shit. I'm not. I am not even going to roll even though I have a good modifier because I do not handle animals. No, the only reason I blame him though is because he himself is a bird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking at it, you know animals yourself, you know how birds tend to fly. Uh, he looks definitely to going to be uh, going somewhere with purpose. That purpose, I, you don't really know what it is. Well, I believe they were sent to watch us or at least alert somebody. And you didn't notice that it flew off when Victoria pulled the gun out. Okay, so I relay that information. You know, someone's aware of our presence coming up the mountain. Hopefully, Me. Well, Hopefully the dwarves. I don't exactly want to fight an entire draw army. I mean, ideally, you, you wouldn't see them coming. Well, I might, but you wouldn't. I mean, an entire army coming down a mountain, I'm pretty sure we'll see that. <laughs> well, draws do not come in an entire army, they come and backstab you. As our friend C.C. Libra told, told us about. So, 
so I would be more about worried about your spine than your front. But yeah, it's currently covered in weapons, so <laughs> uh, and meat, and meat. Yeah, I mean no, the, and the backpack. Isn't the tiger cutting the meat? Not all of it. Mm -hmm. He's carrying some, most of it, but the, the, the life still is carrying some in his bag. So that you know, the lion doesn't eat it all. It won't eat it. It's, it's somewhat tamed. <clears throat> Are we still walking, by the way? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're still walking. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> like it's still happening while you're walking. Yeah, this is just here, you know, keeping a keeping a passive era. And having a gun out because apparently people, apparently Giant Eagle see see her as a bait, and that is bad. Uh, she would very much like. Not it's getting that dusk, behind. but you are now st have started to go up the mountain. Should we continue for a bit because we took the rest earlier to do the meat of the goblins? <sighs> we can go until we are reaching really dim light. You, you know. You guys are having music on, right? I, I do have well, music. Uh, yeah. Uh, music. Yeah, I, I have music as well. Music on? There we go. No, also, um, apparently, Discord, uh, each server has an allocated part of their own megabytes. So, the more servers you are in, the more CPU load you have, even if it is inactive. Mm. Alright, well, there it is there. Going up the mountain, the, it's getting dark. Okay. So, move roll me. Uh, Fangarth, roll me a d20. Oh, God. Uh, slash. Did I just fuck us? Nah. Victoria. The clouds <laughs> are moving. As they break apart, you notice on a mountain beside you, it seems to be a wreckage of some sort of skyship. Looting! <laughs> oh, it's about time we got some decent loot. <laughs> Wait, so. I notice. The wreckage of a skyship. As the moonlight hits down on it, you see this a uh, wreck of what seems to be seemingly is an old um, skyship slam down the the point of the mountain going through and strike uh, going through it. Oh, so it is a wreckage. Where is this? On top wreckage? of it's on mountain next to you on the peak. No, oh, uh, on the peak. Screw that. How would we? Like we how would we, how long would it take us to get to it? That you could go you could instead instead of going up this mountain you are low enough down on this mountain to instead go up to that one and maybe take a five to five to six days to get up there depending on how fat you guys are. I I have a question mm -hmm. and and she turns the bird. So tell tell me how fast can you fly? <laughs> She still ha haven't hasn't revealed anything yet. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I can fly at fifty, like any, out of care. It's like a fifty. So, would would I be able to go? How long would it take me to survey that and come back? Uh, well, if you took, is it is it with dashing or just normal? No, that's my normal. Flying it would it. still take you a day of. It would still take you a good one and a half day of flying to fly up there. So it would be like it would. I, I'm like, well, judging by the distance, it would be about three days to go survey that and come back. Mm. I mean, yeah, it is uh, up on the top of a mountain, I guess. Yeah, which is why we, we don't want to climb that. Did it, now, did it just crash, or are you saying he saw the glint oh, of a already crashed one? Already crashed. 
Okay. Old crash there ship. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um. Hmm. I mean, w I would take a note. I would take like a geographical note of this on my. Hey, here's the question: Are did we at? Are we just going to join because of the hell of it, or are, did we take a contract to go help these dwarves? Uh, you, it's what not really a contract, on? more of it was a notice to you could that go up there to get help. more work. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, it's up to what we want to do. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm talking in character. I'm like, so, that does seem interesting. What do you guys yes. think? Not um, quite worse. We're going gluting. <laughs> I said, there better be some decent up there. I'm going to be very annoyed. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, does so, anyone... I have no issue with going there. But if it is a GM, I can verify that it is an old Yeah, one, it looks to be an right? old one. The, but you don't know how old. In fact, make a history check. Oh, <laughs> can I can I can I join on that? Yes, you may. Is it uh, is it? No, uh, it's not to do with magic. Magic artifacts, nothing like no. that. No, this is to do with a skyship. <laughs> can I also hey. ask? Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait! Technological devices. You're not yeah. doing it. You're doing it on a general skyship to see if you remember something on things. It's not yeah, about uh, magic in and of itself. 22. How long would it take to get us from the top of this mountain to the dwarves? You, you it mean is a from here? Mountain. You mean from, from here mountain. to the dwarves? I know that's what I'm asking. But it's about the same amount of time. Oh, yeah. okay then. So, GM, mm -hmm. reveal to me the information. You are seeing to recall maybe not but 20 to 23 years ago, 20 to 15 years ago. A, a, the story of uh, one of the skyships falling down into the mountains. Mm. That's definitely been loaded then. Yeah, and I remember, so However, you do also remember that the skyship was said to be cursed. To get the Vila Vola. The Vila Tulavi. Vila Tulavi. Yes. Vila Tulavi. Said to hold a cursed item, transporting it to the to the Wild Kingdom to be held by the Ancient Dragons. Holds cursed item. Is cursed... Do we want another cursed item? What do you mean another cursed item? Is it the sword <laughs> and the glass cursed? Yes! You don't know if that's cursed. You don't know if that's cursed or not. We know! I just assumed it was. We know. <laughs> no! No! Assuming. No! We, we use don't. identifying it and it shrieked at us. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. Uh, we we did both through history and by using identify on the glass, and it was like. Yeah, you just know that's old magic. It was a Nazgul shriek. Yeah. We we assume. Now yeah, you're assuming things. For it's this cursed. one here, what you just said, it was going to the Wild Kingdom to be turned over to what the did you say the dragons. dragons? Yeah. So do we even want to get into that predicament if they find out we have this? Or are we going to take it to them? Yes. You know, like, what is... It has been there for 15 to 23 years. Anything worth of looting was probably... Oh, no, it, the, the ship was never... No one could never get found. near it. It was never oh. found. Oh, there is a lot of loot there. We should totally go. <laughs> Fuck my divorce. Going gluting, magis. It's like usually this area is extremely cloudy. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, Cerebra, Cerebra. Hello there. Hello. Yes, hello, Gimbo. Provide every known information about that skyship up there. What is the name? Uh, what is your name, Vicky? Villa to la vie. The Villa to la Vie, an ancient, one of the first skyships, said to have held the air, the soul of a mighty elemental to make it fly. <laughs> well, mateys, you can call me General Gimbal War Cartningo. And ye are my crew. We're going fucking good, mate. Of course we are. The ship of it, the ship, it was infused with the energy of said elemental and became slightly sentient but was agreed to work for it in return of its uh, uh, cost and its freedom and a body to live in. Hmm. Do you, 
do you think if we uh, provide the elemental his freedom free him, he'll not attack us? I do not know. I have never met an elemental. You, they cannot be assimilated. I was asking the general part, including you, Cerebro, but not particularly you in particular. Well, particular. wait a minute. Would the elemental bonded with the ship, or the ship sentient and the elemental is powering it? Elemental is bonded with it. There, All yeah. right, so it's... instead of setting it free, how about we fix the its body? No. Maybe it will work No. For Why? No. Why? No. Why? This is just getting worse by the second, to be fair. Yeah, no. No. Oh. We do not want to force it into servitude. It is the last thing we want. No, no, no. We are no. not saying servitude. I'm no. saying we come up and make a deal. We'll fix save the it. ship. Yeah, it's yeah, been up there it. by itself. Because it's been alone for save a very it. long time. Yeah, we're saving it. You're ah. such a cool, you're such a cool uh, B word, BK. So Listen. You wanted to enslave First of all, let's enslave things! <laughs> yeah. Listen, I said it is a bad idea to do that. Do not twist my words, little man. I can twist whatever Wait, I want. Do you think it's a bad idea to go up there to free it, or go up there to... What are you talking about? As soon as I had sentient, I thought this is a bad idea. A semi-sentient ship with a sentient being. And we still we still need to go. Yeah, we need to go to loot whatever it's not part of the ship. But if we loot, well, I mean, let's see when we get there. If we go uh, to loot it and no, it's, no, no. it's still alive and sentient, it is my duty it? as a learned professor to at least try to help such an amazing being. At least give, I'm at least going to give it my all to try to fix him so it. It's been checked uh, on that mountain for 23 years. I, yeah, I've I been in prison know. before. I know what hell it's like. Gimbo, shut the fuck up. And I'm actually thinking, I'm yourself. leaning toward Gimbal, where if it's sentient, it's a creature, yeah, then I it's have, helpless. I want to help it. I, I have no issue with would. helping it. Just yeah. saying. We can go there and see if we can help. At the very least, we might be able to liberate it if mm -hmm. we cannot fix it. Mm -hmm. And we see from there. Yeah, that, that's where I was going with it. But I've been saying this the whole time. Yeah. You have been going roundabout ways of saying this. All right, let's head up that side of the mountain. Yeah. And we'll keep talking. So, <laughs> yep. Okay. Going up that side of the mountain, you start, you start to make your way across. Vicky. Yes. You notice something else. Oh, God. Off. To the side, you catch a glimpse of it, then you t quickly turn your head to spot a large giant. Seemingly, with in your black and white form, given the moonlight, you see it is is a tone of grey, wearing what seemingly appears to be hide like clothing. Male in form, it has many parts of wood fused into its body. You see, a, you see what seems to be a mast of a ship coming out of its left shoulder, a, a spear in its left wrist, a, a stern, a, a, a ship's wheel coming out of its right ch uh, chest, uh, the right half of its chest, a wagon from a wheel coming out of its, uh, its right foot. Uh, I turn to Gimborn, I explain it, and I ask him, what the fuck is that? Uh, if I were to make an educated guess, I'm going to. T uh, yeah, I already. F okay. A player, a player mm -hmm. thinks that it is the elemental who somehow reconstructed the ship to get itself a new body. And no, it definitely looks like stone. It definitely looks like stone. When, oh, yeah, that was a uh, natural 19, yeah. Also, make, Plus, a history, I, make a history check as well. Oh. Do I get, like, my thing? I'll, I'll give you this while I came So, I get expertise this time around. Mm. Okay. So at twenty seven back on it. That that is not the giant that 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 is not the ship. Oh. That appears mm. to be what you recall and what you have read out, a stone giant dreamwalker. One of a high class, usually the head of its clan of stone giants, 
the ones that actually realize their book world is not a dream, but it's real, it's real, and they travel there via their dreams. But the dreams, they can affect the real world. And when they wake up, their bodies teleport. And sometimes their bodies merge with things that are around it. Okay, so I, as a player and Gimbal, are going to assume that it is a dream giant who somehow teleported near the ship, and when it uh, teleported again, it morphed with, the sh with parts of the ship. You're going to move on the party of this? No, uh, uh, yeah, wait, I'm thinking. Okay, so um, I'm going to tell them everything about the dream giant, about my hypothesis, and I also say, I believe there is like a tiny chance that when it works with a ship, it might have taken some of the elementals' uh, consciousness with it. I There is no proof of this, but in case it's happened, it might have gone insane. Which, ju ju just, a, just a thought. We should talk to it. Oh great, this is happening again. Ah. Pausing. And we're back. Yep. Yep. So, uh, you discussed this with your party. Okay, so, um... So we got one vote for go talk to it. Uh, can we sneak around it? Is my question to the party. Did we take a long rest after our fight? I uh, think. No, you took a short rest. Took a short no. rest. So, uh, how much information does he reveal to us? Uh, like, he said he told us everything. So, how I much think. does he know how dangerous this is between his two rooms? Uh, I mean, it's the leader of a clan of stone giants. Yeah, I mean, we can figure it's gonna be big news. It's so, my question, like, can we all see it now? I mean, uh, already... with him pointing it out, you guys do see a vague glint of it. All right, can can here's my thing, and I mean, I'm I'm gonna say it before I do it in case someone said, can I stealth get closer and see if I can find a way around it without interacting? Oh with no, 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 it? you can definitely around it. It's like this is off to the side. Oh, okay. So, I mean, uh, I mean, what's do we want to ignore it, or what? What do we want to do as a team? I, I mean, t t talking with it isn't a bad idea. At least, at least try it, because I, it's a bad idea if it turns on us or gets angry. So, that's, so, so here's the thing. Uh, risk I, ha I have. Uh, I've got invisibility and I've got misty step. I can I can come up to a stone giant, try to talk with it. If it goes aggro, I can at least get out of there fast enough. Uh, GM, is uh, it in our way to the no. to the ship? No, it no. is off of a side, but yeah. So in our climb up, would it would it be an issue to us? No, unless it is goes out of its way to go to you. Alright, here's... Yeah. So, I informed the party that as long as we don't fuck with it, our cor our well, course shouldn't intervene with him. Here's an idea. Why don't we start up the path, if Gimbal wants to talk to it, he can blink in the opposite direction, so just sort of throw it off. Let the giant go somewhere else, and he can backtrack to us. So How he about... Can do what he wants, and we it won't it endanger us. How about we let it do its thing, and if it seems to approach us, because it is a huge, massive thing. It, if it approaches us, I would know. I yeah, also okay. speak giant. Yeah, but but okay, he ha he can speak giant. Uh, Gimbal is smart. The only problem, uh, Gimbal is, I am worried. But if we come up to a ship and it has parts of a ship, and he might know something about the ship, like he goes, like we go over and he says, yeah. oh, "There is a giant trap. Uh, be careful of that." But is 
I, I, I sort of, I get where you're coming from. That's why I'm saying if you do it on your own, like, let us get up the path a little bit, you can still escape, like you said. So, I, as long as you don't endanger the group, I, yeah. I'm up for it. Let, let, can you I'll, at least stay a little bit back so if, if uh, ship hits a fence uh, too much and I cannot escape you, at least give me some assistance. Yeah, I, I'll actually stealth and I, I'll go with you, but I will stay far enough back. I can get the fuck out of there. Or assist you. So, uh, Gimbal, le let me hold the ooze while you do that, please. The owl will hold the ooze. It can fly. Sure. The owl will not come with me. The owl will hold the ooze for now. Okay. In this, uh, I'm going to take Cerebral, do not leave the owl. Okay, asshole. And stop calling me that. Call me Gimbal. Gimbal, asshole. I'm trying to be nice to you. I'm trying to protect your uh, life. <laughs> I and will just be part of one. Right. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, at least I, I, I'm not trying to stealth up to it. I'm trying cleanly, but I'm trying to peacefully come to it, not showing yeah. any hostility. Well, I'm just stealthing behind you far enough. I hope those rolls will keep me hitting while you interact. Oh, you're bringing a tiger with you. He's following behind me. Oh. Yes. But, no, uh. that that might be a bad idea. Yeah, let's not bring the tiger. Okay. If you say, yeah, well, if you tell me that before we go, I'll leave the tiger with everyone else. You a fucking tiger. Right? Do you right. really want to speak to the giant? I want to speak to the giant. Right. Because I'll go and speak to the giant. Consider him I'm half giant. Yeah. Let's Less let's let him hitting me. Yeah, let's let go the two of us. Okay. You go there, um, carry the meat with you, use it as a snack or some shit for it, if you have to. Oh, oh yeah, so here's a suggestion. Zid, Victoria, Al, and the Tiger stay far enough, so, because they have guns. And Farga for me will go up to the giant. Maybe, maybe, maybe leave the weapons, Farga, leave the weapons, the party, so we don't like. Sh so he doesn't see you with a weapon and think you might attack it. I mean, they're all on me back anyway. Yeah, but still having a weapon might. Put what, it's what your choice. Yeah, it's your choice. I oh, know. I'll keep the blunderbuss on me, but I'll put everything else in my pack. Okay. And then you can sit on my shoulder. Yeah. Okay. And let's come up to it. Not stealthily, just openly, peacefully come up to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Moving up to it. Yeah, you're, you're actually going round the mountain at this point. You you notice that it's getting darker. As you come up in and you actually see the glowing of a of a very and you feel the heat of a very large fire. A very large campfire. Going in and you see the entrance to the cave and looking in, it actually sits very that deep. You actually see a uh, the large stone giant smacking at a large pile of what seems to be old busted trees that are set ablaze, just jabbing at it, keeping the fire going. Uh, in, in greetings. Ah, uh, wait, you're gone, you're gone, yeah. In giant, I'll say hello, Magnificent. Why, hello there. Do you need food? I would enjoy some. I don't know. <laughs> That's such a stupid voice. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I will enjoy it. No. <laughs> oh, God. Why, hello there. I see you, you small folk. And small giant folk. Uh, greetings. Do you speak common? This, this is in common. Ah, uh, oh. uh, you speak common. That's, uh, that's actually better. W would you like some food? If you are if you are offering, I will indeed take it. I'll take one of the sacks off me back and hand it to him. What is the height difference between me and him, by the way? Uh, let me just get my master manual. Just a little check. I believe fourteen. I believe uh, stone giants are like fourteen feet tall. So, he, so he's this almost, would make he's him almost like, double my. Yeah, height. this would make him like sixteen feet. Yeah. Okay, then he has double my height. I ask. Uh, ja uh, what shall we oh, call no, you? Oh no, He's 20 feet tall. Regular stone giants are 18. Jesus, okay. I ask, uh, great stone giant dreamwalker, what is your name? How should we call, what should we call you? 
My name is Chieftain Kalbul. Chieftain Kalbul, uh, my name is Gimbal Nimbal Warcart. It is a pleasure. Greetings, tiny folk. And thank you, giant folk. Do you mind if I come closer to your fire and speak to you? Please, the fire, sir. Please, the fire is warm. Yeah, I, I jump down from Fargaf uh, shoulder and come up to a fire. It is intense heat. You come up to it and you just see the glowingness as it, it almost licks onto the giant parts of wood in his body. Come up, come here, my boy. Come here, sit. I sit oh. to fuck. I'll walk up. <laughs> I'll just stand. Why uh, do you come to the mountain? Uh, we came here up for a uh, promise of some work up with mountains with the dwarves and with drows, you know, helping folk. But while we were traveling, we saw, we first of all, we saw a ship, an ancient ship, crashed here, not found by anyone. And we thought of coming there and seeing what's the situation there. You mean the ship at the top of the mountain? Yeah, I heard there is a so a, a fortunate soul using the ship, and we thought maybe I can try, maybe we can try to clean it, help it repair its body, so it wouldn't be trapped. Very I much. have been over there once. Well, not to the ship, but I have been close to the. Ba I have been close to it. I have, all I heard was wailing screams. Oh, maybe it's a ship suffering. I believe it's a ship suffering. Believe what you believe, but that is superstition. Uh, How can uh, a ship be alive? Is uh, it wood, is it not? If I believe my knowledge, when uh, a soul of an elemental was fused through the ship so, so it can fly. I do and not know what this is. Do you do know of a soul? I do not know what an elemental is. Uh, an elemental is just another creature. Ah, okay. So uh, someone's soul was uh, uh, bonded to a ship so it can fly and now what I think about it with a ship with body is has been lying where with a broken body for over 20 years. Oh boy. That would be agonizing. Yet, yes it would. You have parts of a ship uh, blended with you if, as I can see. Yes, but these are part of my body now. Yeah. Yes. I do not feel pain from them unless they are spro broken or smashed. So, anything else you might uh, divulge to us? Information? What would you like to know? Uh, are there any safer pups up to a ship? Anything we should out watch out for in terms of creature bear? There are many beasts of burden of, well, beasts of there. I have seen many a tiger, mountain lions, very large creatures with very sh large fangs. Oh. And of course, my eagles. Oh, those were yours. We saw them up. As you actually, uh, now as he says it, you actually look around this place more. I actually noticed there's some cubby holes where you see the eagles resting and sleeping. Ah, uh, so I have, I myself have an owl and a moose. You have tiny bird. Yeah, I have tiny bird and even tinier moose. I do Where is the rest of your tribe? They are under the mountain. I have been trying to find my way down. Perhaps we could ask the dwarves after we help them? That would be helpful, if you could. If um, you do, you will be considered part of my clan. Hmm. Uh, Chief, if I may be so bold, you are a traveling giant. You saw many things in your life, right? Mm. Yes, have you, I have. have you collected any interesting things you might want me to trade? I have collected this one small trinket. As he reaches into a bag, he pulls out something that you see remarkably similar. A glass case. What seems to be inside not a weapon, but what seems to be a Humanoid sleeping. Silver hair, eyes closed, a female figure. Fishy girlfriend material. 
Okay, she, I'm the gnome here. I'm the <laughs> oh, she the is, she is quite beautiful. I say, my boy, my boy, Fargo, pull out your, uh, you know, your thing. My what? <laughs> <laughs> that, that we thing, just a, you know, the glass thing. I, I don't know who has it. I, I it's the rule, it's, 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 it's one of us has it. God damn it. Oh. We, oh wait, hold on. Cause I'm pretty sure my thing is bigger than you. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, I'm talking in terms of age. Uh, I say to uh, Chief, we actually have something similar, but we have a weapon in that same type of glass. I have never been able to break the glass. Yeah, we did. We, we, you need a dwarven forge to melt the glass. Mm. That is we one. Do you mind if I cast a spell to know to know of this glass? To just to make sure it is the same as we go right ahead, and as he puts I the glass down, you actually get it. Is this giant trunsel then? <laughs> <laughs> but but superstition, like I was not uh, Sorry, what was that question? <laughs> I said, is this giant Transylvanian? <laughs> yes, stone giants speak Transylvanian apparently. That's yeah. that's fine. Just check. Just check. <laughs> I use. Identify. You get the same screech in your head. Yep. Yep. And this yep, time it's yep. a lot louder. Uh, <laughs> uh, my ears, my own where, ears. where did you find this? I found it in the ship. Or near the ship. Yeah, that's uh, what I thought. Um Chief, again, what would you, what would it take for us to trade this? What do you have? Let me check, let me check. I have a, a dagger. Pitiful. A lead box. Which can be used to fight, uh, to fire anything. By the way, I should mention, Zed, you're hearing all this. Or at least you're hearing everything the giant said. He has a large, booming voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how, how big is the hole to this cave? <laughs> well, it has to be bigger than 20 feet. So around about 20 to 25 feet tall, and curving more the back. How wide is it? It's, it's around about 30 feet wide. Because hmm. I have two iron doors which would help keep some of the air out. <laughs> However, I don't know how big they are. <laughs> They're standard sized doors. Do you want a door for your cave? He mm. kinda looks very confused, like, where do you keep such an item? Uh, They are part of my cloak. Those must be very small doors! It's I, <laughs> I need to iron door. <laughs> uh, five feet. Do you need a door? Would you willing to trade a door for Petco? I can give him two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck, it doesn't say. <laughs> what, what's it called? Robe of... Robe of, robe of uh, many, I many robe items. Robe of useful items. Robe of I actually know it's robe of many things. Yeah, robe of... A robe. It's a robe. Okay? Oh, yeah? Oh. Well, but many things. I think it is useful items. <laughs> Load faster. <laughs> Load faster, <laughs> damn you! No, it's actually a rope of useful items. Yeah, iron door up to 10 feet wide and 10 feet high. And I've got two. And I guess if you use them the together, it would make a door. Right, I'll pull off the patches and I will make a door. So, wait, you will make a two-part door that can be opened either above or under or both. Yeah. Okay. This is major innovation. Pulling these two patches off together and pushing them towards the gap of the of the cave entrance. They seem to mold and shape into 
filling the entranceway, creating a sturdy metal iron door, seemingly out of nothing. Do you have mastiffs back? Please tell me you have mastiffs. I also have two mastiffs. <laughs> and two horses. <laughs> and a portable ram. Yep. Yep. Plus, those things do not disappear. <laughs> uh, and also, this is what I can do for you. Well, you have now done it. I thank you. So, would you give us the woman in the, the coffin? You Make a persuasion check with advantage. Uh, do you want me to do it? Or have you got... Are you more persuasive or than a uh, potential two? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, plus five. Yeah, Fargo, Fargo does it because he's one who has with him. Plus, he's a giant, a giant. Hey, you're getting better at rolling. Uh, yeah. Not really, it's only 14. <laughs> yeah, but it's double 19. Uh. Yeah. He scratches his head and pushes the glass towards you with his foot. We well, thank you, Chief. I'll pick it up and pop it over my shoulder. <laughs> and this is do, this is capping out your max your weight. That's fine. <laughs> we can have like a. Do you mind if we and the rest of this party take uh, spend the night in your uh, now protected with doors cave? I do not mind this. <coughs> oh, and one last thing, I just have to ask: if we go to a ship, there are no, there is no chance when you go with us or send up with some eagles to help us with our journey. Maybe. Oh. Well, hearing this... Okay, can you hear them through You, you can't hear anymore, there's metal doors! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh... How far away from my owl am I? You're, you're over 100 feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I come up and screw to my... I, I come up and kind of... Uh, motion, uh, give, until I'm within five, uh, 100 feet and, mo and give uh, all the command to fly to me. <laughs> well, I wait, think wait, 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 wait! I can just, I can ju wait. We use will drop. Yeah, I give. A, uh, I come up to my owl until I hand it with them. Come, tell it to come with me. <laughs> like motion, the others to come as well. It shall. It shall. Uh, you guys see the owl flying towards the cave entrance. It, it does like a circle around you, uh. taps in the air, looks at you, and come out and flies. Well, I, I heard the giant, like, the giant side of the conversation, so I figured out what happened, so I let Rod and Victoria know. I think we may be spending the night here if he doesn't look, he looks friendly. So, I start heading up, too. Probably and about the time this out. is where we're going to leave today's session. Yeah, do we, do we finish our long best? You or? shall, and you shall all I level up. Really? Yes. yes. Maybe. So we so we finished our uh, long rest. We level up. Yeah. And so, all the uh, so wait, do we just crash with the giant? You're crashing <laughs> with a giant for the night. Yeah. So with eagles, the giants, the doors, the whole so, thing. So everyone, quiet. I hope you enjoy today's episode of Breaker. This is going to be called a giant's mess. <laughs> So, I hope you, if you do like it, sub uh, give it a like, and if you if you like it even more, maybe hit subscribe. Also, give it a comment below, I always want to create a criticism and see how you improve. And also, give your comments on how the new layout is. Let's, let's just end this now. Goodbye, everybody! Bye. <laughs> uh, wait, it's <laughs> you.